So let's say you've built a quiz and articulate storyline kind of like what we see here. This one has just a couple of questions. I'm going to go through and answer them. And let's say on your result slide, you've incorporated this review quiz option where the learner can click the button and then go back through and see the questions, see what they got right and wrong. And you can also incorporate some additional content during that quiz review. And that's what we see down here in the lower right. I've got this little box with some text in it and a hyperlink that the learner can use to you know, understand more about why they got the question right or wrong. Well, this content that you see here is coming from a slide layer called the review layer. This is really easy to set up, and if you're not sure how to do it, just post back to the Storyline forums and we can get you pointed in the right direction. And this layer, by the way, can contain whatever you want. It doesn't have to be just text in a box like this. It can contain you know, characters, animations, objects, shapes, movies, really whatever you want. So it's a great way to support your learners in understanding um, during their quiz review. Well, a Storyline user was wondering, what if I've got my quiz set up like this and my review layer is working great, but I really only want that review layer to show up if the learner answered incorrectly? Because he was using the review layer strictly for remedial help um, to support learners in you know, getting additional information if they got the question wrong. If they got the question right, he really didn't need to show the review layer at all. He just wanted to you know, let them know if they got the question right. Well, it's really easy to set this up. Let me show you how you can do it. We're going to go to our first question here. And what we want to do is go down to our layer pane and find the review layer, which is right here. And we're going to create a real simple trigger to tell Storyline um, just to hide that layer if the learner got the question right. So on this particular question, you can see that it's a true-false question, and the right answer happens to be true in this case. So we're going to create a trigger that tells Storyline if the learner answered true, then you can just hide the layer. So let's click Create a New Trigger, and here's the action that we want to take. We want to hide this layer when the timeline of the layer, called Review, starts, but only on the condition that the correct answer is selected. So we need to click Show Conditions, and we're going to add a condition and the, the true button, this little radio button, is a shape. It's not a variable or a window, so we're going to choose shape. And we want to say if that button is equal to its selected state, if that condition is true, then we're going to go ahead and do this stuff. We're going to hide the layer when the timeline of the review layer starts. And that's really all we got to do. And then we'll do that on the remaining slides. In this case, I only have one. Again, we're going to switch to the review layer, create a new trigger, and the trigger is going to hide this layer when the timeline starts of the review layer. And the condition, again, is in this case, the, the correct answer is true again. So we would create the condition that says when the shape called button 1 is equal to selected. OK? And then we hit OK. So now let's preview our example and see if we can get the behavior that we want. Let's answer the first question correctly. OK? We'll hit Submit, and now we'll answer the second question incorrectly. And then when we get to the result slide, we'll hit Review Quiz. And we should cycle back through our questions. And on this first question, which we got right, we're just seeing the question and you know the fact that we got it right. We're not seeing that review content that we had set up on that review layer. It's basically being hidden because we've told Storyline we only want it to show up if the learner answered incorrectly. Now if we hit Next to go to the next question, which we answered incorrectly. You can see right here that we answered false, the correct answer was true. This one is displaying that review content that we had set up on that layer. So one simple trigger is all it takes on each question slide to tell Storyline that you want that review layer to show up only if they got the question wrong.